at 7.30 local time, Dongfang Race Team wins leg three of the Volvo Ocean Race in Sanya, China. Minutes after crossing the line, team skipper Charles Crodrolie is relieved. The most important is we have won this leg, which I think we couldn't do better than win this leg, finish at home, finish in our base in Sanya, so it's fantastic for, uh, for, for, China's, for Chinese seller, for China project, well, we are very happy about that. Back in October, few had suspected that Charles, a mixed crew of Chinese rookies and French newcomers to the race, could seriously challenge the pre-race favourites. However, after managing two second places in the first two stages of the race, Dongfang race team is becoming a force to be reckoned with in the new one design world of the Volvo Ocean 65. In leg three, and following just over three weeks at sea, the fiercely determined 40-year-old skipper and his team, including two Chinese rookies, Kit and Black, sell a flawless leg from Abu Dhabi to Sanya. Dongfang stamps their authority on the leg virtually from the start and never looked back. Uh, I think uh, every day it was hard, but maybe uh, Malacca, because when you call Malacca, you, you cannot control anything because it's, the wind is really random and the forecasts are really bad. And, uh, it was very close that we lose the f lead. Uh, we didn't deserve it, but we could have lost the lead very... We lost maybe 60 miles in one day. It's huge. Skipper Charles Godrolli and his team couldn't have chosen a better place to make the breakthrough for China. They become the first Chinese team in the 41-year history of the race to ever win a leg, and with it, the outright lead of the 12th edition itself. Crossing the line are done in the home port of Sanya. The sailors are welcomed home as heroes. Dongfang means business, a winning business. Welcome to the office. While the village of the Volvo Ocean Race opens this weekend in Sanya, China, Siren de Zephyr takes victory in a difficult leg three. To get there, female skipper Laura Lai had to take the right decision on several occasions. The first important choice is to sail along the west coast of India, allowing the Siren de Zephyr to pass Sri Lanka amongst the leaders. Then, when most competitors elect a direct route towards the Pulawi Marks, Lorelei decides to go north near the Nicobar Islands. This choice, combined with a favorable wind shift, allows her to enter the Malacca Strait in first place. The rich gets richer in the strait and the weather favor the leaders, especially the wind shift in the morning of January 19. The one that blocks the entire fleet for several hours hours except Sonolento and Siren de Zephyr. After leaving Singapore behind, Lorelei has the difficult task of controlling her opponent throughout the five days long beat to China, always staying either between Sonolento and the finish or the favoured side before the next wind shift, not offering any passing lanes to the Brazilian skipper. Lorelei performs this match racing phase to perfection and crosses the finish as the winner on Monday, January 26 at 2.30 a.m. Hats off, the Siren du Zephyr. You can now enjoy the party in Sanya.